my name's Scott West, fishery scientist for West Country Rivers Trust. We put this short clip together to showcase World Fish Migration Day and to look a little bit at the project we've been developing with Bristol Water and Bristol Avon Rivers Trust. And it's all about glass seals. It's all about gathering data when the glass seals turn up at our coastline. As many of you know, the eel has a fascinating life cycle. And what we've developed, building on our colleagues in Ireland, is a drop net that drops down at pinch points like tidal flats and collects eels as they gather waiting to enter into the river. Now this project has three main points. One is that data collection element. The second is uh, translocating uh, eels that we capture over the, bar the nearest barrier, so this helps on their journey. And finally, it's a citizen science project, so it involves volunteers in the community, people who care about the river and care about the wildlife within. And this, this shares the eel story because they're a critically endangered fish species. So, I'll let you see the clips now, have a look at it, see what you think, and, uh, and share, share the World Fish Migration Day celebrations. Cheers. So I'm Sophie Edwards and I'm Bristol Water's Environment Strategy Manager and I'm managing the biodiversity outcomes of our National Environment Programme and this includes eel protection. So under the Eel England and Wales regulation we need to screen our intakes with best practice screens and open up our migratory, migratory obstacles. Where we, this is not cost beneficial to do so, we need to deliver alternate measures and that's where we can work on the Glass Eel Project with West Country Rivers Trust and Bristol Avon Rivers Trust and working with fishermen, bringing their local knowledge with the River Trust specialist knowledge to deliver a project like this.